My name is Omari Booker, and I paint. Yeah. Take two, but whatever, yeah. I started painting in high school, and I kind of developed more of a, more of a passion for it after five, 10 years, when I kind of needed it, used it as, a, as basically a kind of self-therapy, yeah, a, a segue to freedom. <laughs> and so after finding myself in some situations and in, in some places where, where art was kind of my, my savior, I um, used it in those places and found out how important it was to me when I kind of got out. I was incarcerated for three and a half years. I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when I was 19. In all of that, I found out how important art was to me and how it's defining a, a place that I felt free and comfortable and expressed joy, but also expressed the, the pain that kind of came out of and went into going through some of that stuff. While I was incarcerated, I took some college classes just to kind of have the opportunity to exercise my mind and get into a classroom setting. It was a little space and time where you were kind of more of a student than an inmate. And, and when I was released, I was asked to serve on the board for the same organization. And that's the Higher Education Initiative, which is a nonprofit that brings college courses to institutions in, in Tennessee. So yeah, so that's, that's been a powerful thing to be a part of, just to, to kind of see that experience that meant so much to me kind of be passed on to a few other people. My upcoming show is called I Live Here. It really was sort of born out of just being a Nashville native and living and working in the area for so long. Nashville being the, you know, quote unquote, it city or one of the it cities. I focused on, on the neighborhood where I work. You know, I work in North Nashville. That's also where the gallery that, um, where I curate shows and that I also show work, Woodcuts Gallery. And so the series is predominantly portraits of people that either live or work in that area. I framed all of the portraits in windows that date back to about the 1930s. When some Germantown housing was torn down, a friend that works maintenance, he hung onto these windows and asked if I could do something with them. And after having them for a while, that's what I decided to do, is frame all of these people from North Nashville in those windows. I thought it was really important to represent all of what's happening there. So it's not just people that have been there forever, just everybody that's there right now. So it's kind of documenting what's going on there. What ties that series together is a large piece that is on a door that came out of one of the, out of housing, some other housing that was torn down out of North Nashville. And I made a cityscape off of Rosa Parks because I think it's just one of the most interesting streets in Nashville. It separates the Cheatham place, housing projects, and the Worthen Lofts, which are some of the most affluent and impoverished neighborhoods in the city. And it's sort of a microcosm for the whole city, because you know, whether you live in East Nashville, 12 South, 8 South, this transition has either happened or it's potentially happening, and it's not to place good or bad on it, but it's to be aware of it. I'm easy to find. You can find me at amaribooker.com and yes, you just shoot me an email through that and I'll and I'll reach back. I'm also on all the social media, Instagram, Amari Booker Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all. And yeah, you can always find me at either at Woodcuts, the gallery on Jefferson, or right here. I do studio visits every week. So shoot me a message. You can come right here, check it out yourself. So yeah. I have coffee. <laughs>